Hi guys, I'm Casey Madden, and joined with me today is Ken Seely, the intervention expert. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. So nice to meet you. You too. You too. Thanks so, for having me. Of course. So congratulations. Intervention is back for its yes. 19th season. That's so amazing. Why do you think the show has been so successful? I think it's so successful because it's real reality. I mean, the producers don't poke at you and say, do anything. They just have you go in there and do what we would normally do in our jobs. Right. So it's really what happens in the real world out there around addiction. Obviously, the show is super intense. Yeah. I mean, just watching clips, you get chills down your arms and spines. Do you ever feel that you need to take a break from the show emotionally? No, not really. I, I, I really thrive on that, you know, because when you get the end result and the family gets help and the addict gets help, right. it really, the reward after is so beneficial right. that it doesn't burn me out. Ken, so now we're going to give you some entertainment headlines that are happening this week, and we want to know if you were to lead an intervention with these celebrities, what would you say to them? Okay. Okay, you ready? Sure. I'm ready. Okay. Heather Locklear was hospitalized for a possible overdose just hours after she was released from jail following her arrest for allegedly attacking an EMT and police officer. Advice for Heather. God, I just say, please surrender. You know, it's so hard. It's so, so hard to keep that fight up and keep going. So just please surrender. Yeah. I mean, just surrender to the process and get the help that you desperately need. Yeah. Luann De Lesseps is reportedly drinking again following her rehab stint and prison time for assaulting an officer while intoxicated. Mm -hmm. What should she do? Who get some serious help, right? I mean, who does that? I know. Attacks a police officer? Bad. I mean, that's pretty serious if you're gonna do that. So that means you're pretty intoxicated. Mm -hmm. So just get help. I mean, that's the sad part is, you know, people need to get the help that they, they, they need for addiction. Right. And the number one symptom is denial. Mm -hmm. So that goes up first. And it's hard to cross that line to get the help that they need. Right. So get your family involved. Ask your family for some support. And, you know, your producers, your agents, ask them for help. Right. Stop fighting the process. Mm -hmm. Get the help. Okay, so the last one, authorities were sent to Janelle Evans' home after the Teen Mom star left dozens of pill bottles out in the reach of her children. Fans have become concerned for Evans after seeing all her prescriptions that were caught on camera. Mm, that's really unsafe, especially, yes. like I said, the innocent children mm -hmm. and having those kind of drugs just laying out. Yes. I mean, that's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Um, oh God, CPS would get involved by seeing that, I yeah. would think. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's been a lot of a lot of custody battles with her children. And she's gonna lose her children. I mean, yeah. I don't know a judge in the country that would let kids be around prescriptions like that. Yeah, it's, it's just really dangerous. Yeah. So I would say, again, get some help mm -hmm. because without getting the help that you desperately need, you're gonna lose your kids. Right. Ken, these celebrities really need you in their lives, as well as so many other people. How can people come work with you? You know, I think it's really important. You know, go to kensealy.com, okay. and they could contact us, and we could get them the appropriate treatment. Yeah. We could help them find a place that will work for them, because everybody's completely different. Right. Like, even though all the people that we talked about, every one of them are completely different. Yeah, they have their own stories. They have their own stories. They have their own battles to fight. So finding out where they're at, mm -hmm meeting them there, and then finding the appropriate placement. Right. Like, where do they belong? Mm -hmm. How do we help them? And how do we give them the aftercare that they desperately need? Right. And you have a new facility opening in Palm Springs, right? Yeah, we have a detox down there. Amazing. So, yeah. So everyone can learn about that on your website. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. Ken, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And guys, if you want to learn more about Ken, head on over to okmagazine.com.